In this video, we're looking at Echeveria Chipon Moon River. It's a variegate and it's a very attractive one at that. But as with many of the variegates, there is a degree of difference in the amount and type of variegation in each one of these plants. And sometimes the amount of variegation can also affect how easy each plant is to grow. We're talking with James Lucas from Succulents Australia. So James, there are quite a few echeverias that are variegated, but this one really is a nice one, isn't it? That's a really good one. You can actually sell it for a lot of money, but it's hard to grow. Right, so that one would be hard, hard to grow, and that one's sort of hard too. Yep, whereas the other one's whereas quite easy. Whereas you get something like that, yep. and it's easier. So even within, so it's Jipon Moon. Yeah, Jipon Moon River. Jipon Moon River. Jipon Japanese Moon River. So these little ones, how old would they be? Oh, they're only four months old, three or four months old. And these ones over here? They'd be a bit older, or six or seven, or maybe the same age, but bigger head. Right. You know, we cut all, we've got a whole block of them over here. See that section in there? We cut the hell out of them. So what's the trick with growing them? Oh, carefully. Yep. Nah, they're not too bad. That's one of the better ones to do. So it's a reasonably easy to, easy to grow. Yeah, and pretty stable. For a variegate. Yeah, pretty stable. And just... Whereas if you get this one like over here, it's really unstable. You have many variations in there. There's a lot of reversion back to the green, the original green. Yeah. We throw out a lot. That's one of the things that makes variegates really expensive yeah. is that you often throw away 50 or 60% of all the cutting material because it's reverted back. Yeah. And or you grow like over there, that whole section of it there, and you've got to pull the variegates out of it. And all the time we're culling. So, you just treat it normally, water yeah, it? just normally. You, you maybe don't, try not to water it too much on top. They're, they're just weaker. And you can sort of see a little bit of winter mess on the leaves, you know, a little bit of fungusy sort of stuff. Yep. And they're growing out of it now, they're warmer. So you'd be better off to water these from below. I think so, or minimise on top. And you don't yeah. overwater them. Yeah. Just and fertilise it once a year? Yeah, once or, once or twice. It's better to keep variegates pretty healthy, actually, because yeah. they're a bit slower growing. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on a whole range of succulents and, indeed, a whole range of gardening matters. And, as always, good luck with your gardening.